Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Our guest is from Duffield Produce, Duffield, producers of Mini Me Chin Chin this morning. They're here to enlighten us more about the product. Joining us is the area marketing manager, Mini Me Chin Chin, Isaac Egbe. Welcome to the show today, sir. Thank you for having How me. How are you doing? I'm okay. So okay. we see your bikes all over Lagos. You have not reached my house. I have to go a long way, you know, to <laughs> get it. So. With the presence of Mini Me everywhere, um, all over Nigeria, um, what exactly is the drive behind that? Um, Mini Me as a brand. Well, first of all, we should I should state this that we're a proudly Nigerian brand. Factories in Nigeria, mm. Woo! so it means that um, we've been you don't need jobs. forex. Uh -huh, we've been giving <laughs> jobs to a lot of Nigerians, but nice. the idea behind the brand Mini Me Chin Chin is to have a snack, mm. and healthy snack. Take note because we have a lot of people without standards, having things around. So we saw having something where people can ha have it in their home, mm. watching TV, you don't, you wake up at night mm. and you don't want to eat something serious. You just want to take a drink and eat something light. Mm. So that's one of the things, that was the idea behind having a minimi changing. Okay. That's one of it, okay. but there's so many things driving it but that's one of the major things to have something you can use to break the bottom as we say oh. break the bottom minimum change it okay. okay so um you know in nigeria we one of our major like resource is that we are we love fatting yes. and a lot yes. of people have catched in on this market of patting from decorators to yeah. food vendors how do you f how does minimum want to fill in the gap, gap of providing refreshments snacking at the parties yeah. You know, our event in Nigeria now has gone to a next, we've, we're moving to a new level where you get there, you take small chops first, first <laughs> a little drink, and while the event is going on, you move on to more, we're trying to see how Minimi Chichin can be in that category of mm. small chops. Mm. Okay. It's it's one of the things you can you just know. snack on before the event, while the small chops, I think they, they two are trying to break the bottom. <laughs> with the small chops, waiting for item seven, yeah. then you just have this. So basically, that's what we are looking at for uh, product mm, okay. two. So we have, have uh, lots of chinchin in Nigeria, different brands, yes. and you already said that uh, Minimi Chinchin is has its own page because of the it standard. is the standard. So what is that standard that makes it different from every other chinchin, and what are the things that makes it healthy, as you said earlier? Okay. Now, um, first thing. I, as she said, do feel the United Food Industries yeah. is the name of the company. It's the same producers of um, Indomie also. Okay. Uh, uh, mini me. It's like a mini Indomie. So oh. just take out the mini to bring it out. Mini me. Basically, oh. standard is one of the things <laughs> we, we try to do. We, you know, we have um, systems that we're trying to even take out human hands from our systems. Okay. You, you put the raw material. And everything it comes is out. Everything is processed the and then oil, we ensure that when it's fried, the oil does, is not rancid. Mm. So we change it at intervals. Our factory is actually in Potaka, Choba. So these are some of the things. Then the grammage. Now you pick a lot of these things, you don't check the grammage. You don't check what they have inside. What are they using? Is it wheat? Is it uh, wheat flour? Is it corn flour? You know, these specifications, you see all this stated, you see the address. And even a contact so you can reach us. You know, basically we have a lot of cottage industries having people just come up and make changes in their mm -hmm. and package kitchen. it and all yeah, that. So, in their kitchen. Now, so these are the things we look into to ensure we have a product that we are proud of. As I said, a proudly Nigerian product. Everything basically is done here. You know, I know in Nigeria because um, nobody pays attention. Yeah, some bodies try to pay attention to standards and you know, to checkmate some of these things. Yeah. So is your factory, for instance, is it open to, if I say I want to just come and do, uh, what's it called? Let me come and inspect what is happening. Can, yes. I, co can I walk yes. in, you know, as a person just to see what is happening yes. so I can have that comfort to be able to give my children yeah. the change in to take to school, for instance? Yeah, um, one of the things we did, like I was in auto factory, I worked in auto factory in 26, 
two or six. And one of the things I noticed when I was there was they had a glass, like a glass viewing center where Fantastic. students, when they come around for on excursions, yeah. they walk through without necessarily interfering with the, the production. production system. Mm. So they can walk through. Mm. Those are, there was a time. Just to avoid people saying one or two things about the brand, we do that. Okay, okay. We allow Fantastic. people to come around. Then, um, so this is one change in. Apparently, I've seen just probably a particular one. Are yeah. you guys thinking of doing something exciting with a different flavors? Pepe, Pepe yeah. you know that kind of thing. You see more of that coming before okay. the end of this year. So how, so how how active are you guys on social media? Yeah, we are very active. You know, uh, one of the packages we have is our comedy bank. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm -hmm. Any of our videos. We had our master's edition recently where we had um, Shayla, Kenny Black, um, Shayla, Kenny Black, Peter, Peter is in Ibadan majorly, mm -hmm. and Laugh Up. We had them do a short video, mm -hmm. he posted, it, he posted, he posted the video on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Facebook, on Twitter. That's for the master's edition. Now for, on Instagram, our handle is Mini -me NG. Mm -hmm. And we do things like that. We are very active on both Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We do things like that so, from time um, to time. You keep saying, you, I, you, I've, I've heard you mention over and over again that, oh, what we produce in Nigeria, we're creating jobs. What are the opportunities for someone that wants to um, start retailing, or how can they connect with you to say, I want to create a business selling um, mini yeah, It depends on your location. Okay. Now, we will look at the market. Okay. Do mm. we have somebody selling already in that market? And it depends on your location. Then I will have our offices all over Nigeria, as I said to you. Mm. Our office in Lagos is on Surulere. In Ibadan, we are in Akobo. Okay. Basically, Akure, Potakot, all over Nigeria. You simply go to our office, but we'll review, we'll work with you mm -hmm. to know where your location is and how we can get someone from that location. Okay, so there's a phone call from Chris from Egbeda. He may be trying to reach you. Excellent okay. morning, Chris. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, okay. Um, my question is to um, the Mimi Chin Chin, right? The one product that um, everybody is, and every children want. My question is what um, is the process certification that the organization has? Because in today's world, organizations should be internationally um, certified, especially for their process mm -hmm. as of. As that operational, um, operation, as that operational ability. Okay. I want to know if Mimi Chinchin as a company has an international um, certification, certification. Mm. And, yes, okay. and license for the operations, which of course could boost confidence of um, customers like us. Yeah. Because yeah. We, like, we try to look at international certification yeah. beyond the national certification as well. No, we know we are doing well, but we understand the standards. So I want to add. Okay. Okay. We get the question, Chris. Okay. So international. Your, Dofield is a Nigerian company, right? Yes. But you know how standards are Best in practices. Nigeria. So yeah. people are saying, do you have international certification that will encourage us that, oh, don't worry, uh, though it's made in Nigeria, it yeah. is of international quality. Okay. Um, first thing that I need to let you understand is, um, yes, we know it's made in Nigeria, but a lot of our research, I met one of, our, one of the research managers and she told me she traveled to I think Singapore and Germany, and I was like, what are you doing there? Well, one thing she told me was the taste. Mm. Our taste here in Nigeria is quite different from what they have mm. over there. You realize that we are owned by a foreign body. Mm. But she said she had to travel to get different. While we are doing our research, we don't do the research alone Locally. in Nigeria. We go out okay. to get what um, opinions from other people. Mm. Yes, we are on the national level, we are certified. You see that on the pack. You mm. see. Um, SON, you see NAVDAC and all that, we have that settled. But also on international level, while we're doing our research, we don't do it within, within the shores. We're actually in Ghana too. Okay. We are actually in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So beyond Nigeria and Ghana. And, um, but we're looking at branch number for now. We're in Nigeria and Ghana. Okay. We'll probably now, he, he mentioned um, children. What's your target um, audience? Is it just children or minimi cuts across? children and adults we use the term young adults okay. okay so there's another question on um, from a phone call peter okay. excellent morning good morning please join the conversation sir uh, the mini mini me i love that chinchi so much <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I love the teaching. Even my woman love eating the teaching. <laughs> <laughs> and my younger sister. <laughs> So I'm a first-time caller. Oh, thank Welcome you. Thank show. you. So Peter, calling from Mount 12, is just saying that he loves to you guys. Okay. Yes. So I have a question, right? Okay. You know that women, we are very particular about the things that we eat. We're, you know, watching our mm. weight. We're on diets and things like that. Um, and mini-me is a good snack to kill the boredom. Yeah. How many packs can I eat a day without putting on weight? <laughs> <laughs> What's my limit? I think, I think that would depend on whatever is recommended for you by your doctor. I think they have this RDA stuff where you mm. know the number you number of amount calories, of calories to, you're supposed to, to take. So it's, but to make it better, do you the, 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 the yeah. breakdown at the back of each pack? Yeah. Yes. yes. How many calories? Do, is it accurate measurement of what I will be getting when I eat it? So I know that if I'm taking this, I'm getting... 50 calories per, per each pa, of pa, that pack. Yeah. I'll be like, eh? Hey, so, that's three so, slices of bread. So, okay. So, so then just then keep one. <laughs> yes, we have that. We have that there. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, do we cool. have tweets as we run off? Okay, we do. Any questions for him on Twitter? People are just praising. Okay, so they are all praising, <laughs> praising mini me. Mm. Okay, so the next question. As ladies in the house, we're waiting for Dofil and Mini Me to endorse us so that we go to the market <laughs> Is that a on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so very much all right, for thank coming you for on having the show. Me. Really uh, we wish you all the best thank you know, so much. with your product. Thanks for all coming right. on the show. Thank you so okay, much. So that's our initial guest on a Feel Good Friday. Right after this short break, we have our celebrity guests. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Should I just stay? Go! Up on me, you're too troublesome. Oh, who else will I trouble if not you, sweetheart? No, 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 please, I beg. <laughs> what is your trouble? <laughs> oh, yeah, I will go. Okay, I'll go. Now, why are you driving me along with you? You said go with your trouble, and you are my trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, no, look, wear this one, this one. This that, one best suits what you're putting on. Daddy, and how do you know what suits me best? You are old school, look please. At this, look, look at this one. Look at this one. Ask your mother. When we were cutting, I used to, I was the one that was choosing what you used to wear. You know, ask her. In those days, I used to be called the best fashion guy in Lagos. Ask her. You know? <laughs> Daddy, those were analog days. Now we're in the digital era and you were not compliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. Professor Okun, sorry, no, that young. <laughs> <laughs> is a Nigerian actor and seasoned thespian who is known for his disciplined professionalism and being one of the best trained movie role interpreters in Nollywood. He's a graduate yeah. of theater arts from the University of Benin. Welcome Ooh. to your view. <laughs> Professor Okun. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's a mistake everybody made. It's oh, not Professor it Okun, it's uh, Professor Edem. Edem. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, okay. But I just guess everybody thinks because it's a Calabar name, then it should be Okun. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Professor Edem in Checkmates. That's yes. what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> Professor Edem. Yeah. So it's very, very exciting to finally have you on the show. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Good, good. All the better for four beautiful women like you. You, you are know, somebody. Yeah, you actually. You are somebody who is used to being amongst women. women. Yes. Mm -hmm. So as the last born. Uh, yeah. How did you know that? I wow. said you. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five girls. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Plus my mother, six. <laughs> yes. yeah. And they pampered you. Yes. You know, but you know. Too what, much. When, <laughs> when, when, we, when we saw that research, uh, what, what I kept what kept coming to my mind was that, imagine today, 
you have loads of girls, you know, and everybody will now think you should be acting very, very, you know, girly, girly very feminine. <laughs> you know, you but, know? I mean, he also mentioned that he, he they nearly turned into yes. a girl. I'm sure they must have been tying rapper and <laughs> making and <laughs> doing makeup. No, they used me actually to practice uh, a lot of things, perfumes, makeup, and uh, but, but when how, I was small. How did that contribute to, you know, your yeah. sensitivity towards, you know, women? I love my sisters. Mm. I love my mother, you know. Um, I see every woman like every woman like them, mm. and uh, I wouldn't want to hurt anyone. Wow. But again, while they were trying to do all that womanizing me, if you know what I mean, <laughs> I was resisting it seriously. Yeah. I, I would have been a sissy. You know so what I'm I happen to have worked with one of your protégés. Okwe loves you, sees you as a professional par excellence. That every time you come on stage, you Every time she makes anything about acting, she's like, the way nobody to say, the way nobody to say. How, how does it feel for you to, have, to see people that you have groomed put you on that pedestal that you are a professional? Mm. I must tell you, it's, it's very sweet to know that. Too. <laughs> she hasn't told me one on one. But thank you for <laughs> telling me. You. Thank you for telling me. You, you, it makes me feel very good. Mm. Uh, but, but again, some other people will say, what does he think is himself? You, mm. you know, mm. it's like that. But, but I like people to keep open minds, receive mm. as much information as you, as you can get from people who are willing to give. Mm. I tell my students, I, when the work is to be done, we must, we must follow all rules. Mm. And um, some of them like it, some of them grudgingly like it, <laughs> and some outrightly don't like it. You know, now, that kind of thing. Talking about that, what will you say about the old Nollywood and this one right now? I really because don't know the difference. <laughs> People <laughs> will say the old Nollywood and the new Nollywood. What's the difference, really? Okay, but, but Is it because we go to cinemas now yes. as against uh, marketers? And, you know, the whole cinematography, everything, the makeup, yeah. the, uh, the, the, the storyline and everything. Yes. Everything is improving. Mm. Mm. Everything is improving. Even acting that I've always quarreled with. Yes, mm. I was going to say improving. that yeah. you are yeah. very controversial in terms of thinking that a lot of actors oh, you yes. know, are illiterate, yeah. you, are, you don't know what look you're at doing. The, yeah, look at the brand of actors and actresses we have now. They're all trained. Yeah. Most of them are from New York film school, yeah. others, other schools, you know. They are seeking training. This is, and I'm very happy. Yeah. This is what I have been after since the inception of Nollywood. So your, your mindset about Nollywood has changed, right? To a large extent, yes. yes. So now more professional, we don't have marketers anymore who the, the yeah. sell every room. Yeah. Yeah. But again, there's a danger I see coming up. You know, the okay. cinemas are starting to do nonsense again. Mm. They are now dictating to you what kind of movie to come and show mm. you in their ho in their oh. houses. Yes. yes, they tell you. I ah, know. Is, is is it? You take a movie to them. They say, Ah, is it comedy? No, it's comedy we want. It's comedy that I sell. Uh, now you see they are boxing producers like into that stopping corner creativity again. Yeah. again. Yes, something the market has it by suspending or expelling actors. That is nonsense, really. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. Know, I'll, I'll we must very, we, the producers must watch out for this. Mm. Yes, because I know that one or two producers have been told that mm. that it's, it's comedy that we want. Mm. Mm. Wow. So they are doctoring you to into now, what stories you must tell. Yeah. Um, I wanted to come back to the um, the acting, mm. you know, because in your time, for instance, people just, I'm sure if we ask now, how did you get into acting? A lot of people, you know, in your generation will say it happened by accident. So don't you think that because people now, they, from, from the word go, even if they're going into the university, they already have a mindset that this is what I'm going to do. Probably that's time. what, no, no, I'm saying that's why. That's why That's you why have he has an you? arrogance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does have an arrogance of come on. It's so good. Yes. Is it more about story no, but I'm saying that talent. The, the actually. new crop of um, actors that mm. we are having today mm. that they would spend money to go to the, for instance, the New York Film Institute to go and learn about acting is because, of course, they want to make it professional and they want to earn big money, you know, from it. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us, I mean, probably some of you at, at your time, it's probably for the, the love of, you know, theater. And okay, some people, it just happened by oh, chance. Your own, how did it happen? It's, first of all, you have to have the love. Yes. Mm. And then if you think you have the talent, then you must seek skill. Mm. You must seek technique. That is the purpose of training. Everybody mm. has talent really That'd for be. anything. Yeah. But you, when you seek training, you, you, you learn the, the, art, or the art of the art mm. or the art of the act. And then you build yourself up by, by watching a lot of movies, reading a lot of, a lot of books, mm. and you train yourself mm. apart from the training you had in school, which is engaging in more and more role 
uh, uh, character defining roles. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of a thing. Okay. For me, the interest was there. I, I thank God if I say I did, uh, well, let me not put it like that. My father wanted me to be an engineer. Oh. <laughs> but he died in 69. Uh. And then I had a free way. way. <laughs> to do what you actually really yeah. wanted to do. Yeah. So, um, uh, I wanted to ask you, for a long time, you were sort of stereotyped into playing daddy role. Fatherly you know? role. Fatherly role. You were the good daddy with the kids and all that. And I wonder if you felt stifled, like you couldn't be that versatile actor that you always wanted to be because the roles kept coming within that range, range of daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy rules. Yes. Edge of paradise. Mm -hmm. Yes. For so many and years. Family circle. And yeah. the good daddy, for that matter. The good daddy. <laughs> well, daddy understands the, the children. The, the, the daddy was that was shaped by his wife and society. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this thing happened twice. And because they ran for so long, yeah. you're thinking that it's stereotype. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's really not stereotype because it's one role. Yeah. It could last for 10 years, yes. but it's one role. If I was doing that from one movie or Lots one soap movies. to another, that, that. Well, at the point I am now, mm. uh, considering how we think in Nigeria, what <laughs> role do you think I should be playing? Grandpa. 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 <laughs> 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 no, that's young. No, that's young. Hey, young game. No. <laughs> All right, go and change my name now. <laughs> no, we'll call you Nobot Pa. No, but no. <laughs> Well, uh, well, we, I'm a young boy as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> if you guys don't see it, it's your fault. It's, it's a feel-good Friday, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, still going back to the industry. If you're talking about how to, things that it should bring uh, to make it evolve, what are those things that you still need to look into to actually bring, bring it a power with international standards? We, we must start from our scripting. Mm. If, if, if you do a good script, very good script, that, that they have cliffhangers, you have a lot of suspense, unraveling that kind of suspense would be very, very interesting. I think right now we have the actors to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, I felt that, and I'm happy that she brought up the question. I watch, I've watched our Nigerian movies in the cinema, and I feel that we're, we're too simplistic in our scripting. Mm. We build the entire movie around just two characters, yeah. and we just keep it like that. But you watch one movies, location. Yeah. Yeah. You see movies that the, the sub-characters, the people around have lives. Even our series, we just have one family and it's all about that family. Very good. How do you, what, what do you think we should no, do to improve what is going on there? And like, it, the stories are all the same, almost. almost. Yeah, uh, that's a bandwagon, yes. bandwagon effect. Arising from cinema, you must do comedy. Yeah. How many things in comedy? There are three forms of comedy that I know and they have all been over trashed. Oh. Situational, character and idea. Mm. You know, the, the idea comedy is that you have an idea, probably mm -hmm. a nap tip or whatever mm. it is. It's an idea of mm. the government and you ridicule it, mm. you lampoon it. Mm. And then the character, the character comedy, you have done all those things in Nigeria, mm. yet people insist on comedy. So what do you do? Because you that's what sells. That's what the audience that's are what asking think for. That's what they think sells. Okay. Mm. Because they have not tried others and see if they will sell too. Okay. Who told you that people don't like seeing tragedies? Okay. Ah, we do. Or tragic comedies? Mm. Mm. Like you said, uh, our scripting needs to improve. You know, uh, you see one thing and you have, you're, 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 and even if you try to be creative, your mind keeps going to what you've seen. You want mm. to take something from that and include. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But if you can find a way, you call yourself a writer, you call yourself a creative person, find a way of changing that stuff. Because, you, you like, for, for instance, you play the role of a father. Yeah. But you can play it differently, even if that's the only role you have. Mm. You can play father, a, a crippled father, uh, a stammerer <laughs> father. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but our scripts lack character Describing definition. Each I'm character. happy you're yes. mentioning scripting because I, I was listening to Harry and uh, Mike at the Wake Up Show yesterday and they were talking about the new crop of movies that we are even celebrating and saying, okay, we're watching in, at the cinemas. Yeah. What their, their focus is on is the quality, the kind of camera that they use to shoot one movie the in America. Lights. That's the kind of camera that they're using for. So they are, they are focused they are focused on technicalities mm. and you know yeah. and the story is very very weak really? but so in your own you know if you would say what are the top five qualities that makes a good movie you know would it just be on technicalities or you know what what would you call yeah um, you, you see i was i was trained on the stage yeah mm. and uh, they say when the lighting is good you don't notice it 
Mm. It is only when it is bad <laughs> that you begin to so, say, ah, who is that light space in self, mm. you know? Now, you have to start with a good script. Fantastic. A good script means that the dialogue is good, short, not verbose. Mm. Then you have good role interpreters. The good script also have a description of each character in mm. that play so that you know how to fit into it. Mm. Because sometimes our directors don't have all the time to be telling you what to do with each role. Mm. But the script writers could help by defining, defining every character in that, in that mm. play. Okay. And then you find actors to fill them. Casting is a very important thing. Mm. Script, you, casting, yeah. not because somebody is your friend, not yes. because uh, this man has played this before. We have then a clique. Yeah. We have a yes. clique. We have this one. You now, you now begin to bring ham actors and mm. all those kind of things. Mm. And then you begin to worry less about the technicals. Mm. Because, like I said earlier, we have good cameramen, we have good lightsmen. Even our sound is improving. Yes. Sound yeah. is be a very better. big problem. Okay. But it's getting better. Mm. By okay. Yeah. okay, so we're going to go on a short break. I'm holding back on all your controversies, Norbert. <laughs> but when we come back, <laughs> please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> I will go. Okay. You know what suits me best? You are old school. Look Please. At this, look, look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> Ask your mother. When we were cutting, I used to, I was the one that was choosing what you used to wear. You know, Aska. In those days, I used to be called the best fashion guy in Lagos. Aska. <laughs> you know, yeah. Daddy, those were analog days. Now we're in the digital era and you were not compliant. Oh, look at please, it. please, please, please. Father and daughter, I'm not strong enough for your riddles and jokes this morning. Susan, just come, come, come help me fix this, please. Okay, Mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this movie, didn't Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He was playing one papa that was, you know, doing something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, um, mm -hmm. no, but you have said that you weren't in so many movies because producers weren't putting you, you know, in their movies. So tell us, how do you put body and soul together? Uh, ma, 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 I work a lot. I'm quite busy. Doing what? Doing, doing my job. When I'm not teaching, I'm consulting. When I'm not consulting, I'm on stage. If I'm not on stage, I'm on one soap or one movie. How so are you is ever that as compared to movies? Yeah. Which one? So the consulting, consulting and teaching. teaching. Oh, consulting makes more money. Yes. Yeah, so mm. Oh yeah. Consulting you. make more money. Yeah. You you bring an idea, you discuss it, you you give your your fee, and then you watch the idea grow, grow and becomes physically present. Mm. I was going yeah. to ask, so are you going to pr produce a movie very soon? That should, should we be looking I, I will definitely produce movies, but I'll not be rushed into it. Okay. I'll, mm. I'll, so, I'll take my time. So I have a question. Yes, okay. please. We have a um, phone call, Tokwe. Okay. Larry has called in from <laughs> Suru Larry. <laughs> Excellent morning. How are you today, Larry? Good morning. Fine. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Yeah, I just want to get some. Uh, I just want to get some clarifications. One, um, I've been watching it since I was a kid. Um, during your family circle <laughs> show, it's grandpa, it's grandpa. and um, you're one of those um, celebrity that don't um, that don't go into politics. Like, see you with one politician today, see you with another politician tomorrow. So I want to. I really want to know. I want to hear your take on um, this government, this president, Muhammad Ubari, the uh, BPC government. <laughs> what do you think about <laughs> the politics? Okay, okay, you want to know my, my, my take on this present government? Land. You think they are, they are projecting Nigeria to, uh -huh. to, to the place we, we desire? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I want to know your take on this. Okay. Yeah. Political question. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, you see, sometimes I think actors don't have political views. I definitely have political views. Mm. And I'm not afraid to say it that. Mm. Muhammadu Buhari mm. is the best thing that has happened to Nigeria. Mm. The man's government is opening up so many opportunities, but because people hate too much, they don't see them. Mm. Okay. You, there are so many things we can key into. One thing I can be sure of today is that my money is not being stolen. Okay. Mm. You know, I don't have any fears whatsoever because Muhammadu Buhari 
in and out of office has led a very austere life. Okay. Mm -hmm. He has been a very disciplined person. Okay. He has been a very good, he has been a patriot. Okay. And so, it pains me, it gives me heartache mm. that some people who are nothing mm. will open their dirty mouth and ah. insult a man like Buhari. Okay. It, 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 it gives me a lot of headache. Okay. Mm. For me, it's the best thing that's happening to Nigeria and there are opportunities open for people. Let them just stop hating Mm -hmm. and see the opportunities and key into them. Oh, okay. are you keying into the opportunity that they've created? In My the life has never been better. The creative industry where they're giving tax holidays and also incentives. Yes. You know, raising money. This tax money. holiday may not be new because it's been there from the Bangida, but how many people knew about it? Mm. Yeah. You know, that kind of a thing. Yeah. If, so if as a, a corporate body, yeah, as a corporate body, if you give out, if you sponsor art, that's a percentage of your tax. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yes, it's been there. Mm. But now it's been used. Yes, oh. you see. My Esther. life has never been better in this country. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's the truth. Uh, let's go back to the soft things. And uh, your wife is an actress. Mm -hmm. And in the industry with the stories of uh, divorce and um, scandal, have you been able to manage the whole thing together? The other room. <laughs> what, what, what I tell people when they ask me this kind of question is, first of all, what is your idea and what's your attitude towards marriage? Mm. How do you see marriage? Do you do it for, to satisfy people? Mm. Did you do it because you wanted, because you needed it? Okay. Now, if you no, have... No, but there's, a, there's Esther on the phone. I'm hoping she wants to talk to you. Excellent morning, Esther. Please join Hello. the conversation. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. I love you. Thank you. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, so I, I just want to say hi to Robert Young. Okay. <laughs> hi. Very good. Hi, good morning. How's your wife? Your wife is fine. She's yeah. fine. Very, very fine. Thank yeah. you. You and Esther, everybody there, you all look good. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. So I interrupted you. Please go ahead, sir. Okay. That you, 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 you do marriage, marriage. Yeah. not for other people, but for yourself. For yourself, yeah. yeah. And, and did you marry your friend? When you quarrel with your friend, what happens? You settle. <laughs> you say, get out there. Don't, don't come to me. You, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> but it's just all because you are open to the person because the person is your friend. Mm. Yes. That's the mm. way I see it. And uh, when you say divorce... I wanted to write an article once. This is so funny. I've been wanting to write this article for like 15 years. Hmm. I, I titled it in my head, Not Yet Hollywood. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we might be doing uh, the, glamour, the glamour thing, you know, you know, but we are still Africans, basically. Hmm. We can never be white people. Yeah. Yeah. Is Nollywood thrives on scandal. Is that the kind of thing you want to come and do in Nollywood? Thank you, sir. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You do it in Nollywood, people will go back to your family and start blaming your family that you didn't bring you up well. Yeah. Maybe they brought you up well, you just want to wear the garb of I'm a glamorous person. Yeah. If I do this, it will make news. Mm. And to what end? True. You forget that you have, minds. you know that we are Africans and we have, we have a chains of attachments <laughs> to our bodies and mm. we say, ah, I see that man, no but nine old. brother, nine toxic. Uh, he's a pa. <laughs> no, but old. No, but pa. You have the old school. I am the old school. I'm the old school is <laughs> better. <laughs> the old school. The new day romance. <laughs> <laughs> it's by fighting and divorcing. That's a bad romance, man. You know, you know I wanted to, I, I, I think... One thing that is undeniable is that you're a professional. Mm. You have so much information. How are you fighting your way to ensure that your opinion is being heard within your industry? And so we had this crisis mm. of the Actors Guild of Nigeria and all that. Are you involved in that group? Are you influencing the actors that are coming out now to the point that they see professionalism beyond, let's just say, I want to be famous mm -hmm. and I want to be glamorous? Okay. Um, the way I'll answer that is this, you know, I, I started by being on the other side, like it was me against Nollywood mm. yeah. for a long time. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> Then, you know, most of those people I quarrel with, they know what I know. Mm. Why they don't do it, I don't know. Mm. You know, you are scared of saying, I won't give you a job, you go hungry. No, but you, your hunger cannot kill anybody. I, I don't think so. You can be hungry for two days, three days. Before the third day, you get help. Mm. Mm. Help must come from somewhere and you eat and you will not die. So. Stand for something. Mm. You must stand for something, you know what I'm saying. Now, I talked and talked and talked, nobody was listening. I said, well, stay alone, do what you think you can do. I started to do school. Mm. Let me pass my ideas to the younger ones, you know. Yeah. Who are your students that are doing very well in the industry? The one, you have one here. Yes. <laughs> is she not doing well? Tell yeah, me, let me, let me make sure. I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> so you don't yeah. go and look at, we have to round off now, but so yeah. what's, 
what's the future for you what are you doing what should we lo be looking out to see and what's the final word to the people who love you to people who love me i love you, you too, too. <laughs> i love you more than you love me uh, and may god bless you amen. um i am into creating my own place okay. where i will settle down as an armchair director producer mm. Mm. it may not be soon mm. but that is my future my, my ultimate plan mm. for my retirement okay. mm. but again you must know that the actor does not retire he retires yeah. at death mm. Mm. so those are the things but in between i'll keep working as long as my feet can carry me thank you very right. much no, oh, no, no, for coming. my love our yeah. regards yeah. to gloria yeah. 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 she definitely will hear she doesn't bear your name that's a nollywood Something. What's her name? No. What does she do? No, no, no. I know she's, yeah. she's Gloria Anozie. Anozie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's Gloria Anozier Young. Always Young. What's wrong with Ozaru? What's wrong with Ozaru? She's okay. Thank you so very much. Oh, oh, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, celebration 2017 celebrations take mm. off in faraway London at the globally acclaimed Notting Hill Carnival on Monday, August 28, 2017. So if you're in London, do not miss it. Thank you so very much for being a part of this show. We'll see you next week. Have an exciting weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exciting. Why did you have